just work. Well, that I mean, work is fun- obviously a problem. Oh, it's, it, yeah, but ha- uh, it's been really hard for me to sleep. Mm. I even took a sleeping pill, pill yesterday because mm. the day before yesterday I didn't get to sleep very well, mm. and then the day before the day before yesterday I only got like um, four hours sleep. Uh, yeah. Even though I went to bed and mm. got you know allowed myself eight hours, tossing and turning, had a bit of a fever I think, mm. um, and then yeah, yeah yeah sleep is quite important. I, I've been wor- <clears throat> working on uh, one or two papers about the ethics of sleep enhancement, and generally we know that sleep is good for you. Uh, but we don't have any drugs that make sleep better. We have ways of making people go to sleep, and we have ways of preventing people from going to sleep. But that's not necessarily the best solution. The best one would, of course, be guaranteed eight hours of good sleep. We have no clue on how to achieve that. Mm. I know um, there's melatonin pills that can be taken. Mm. Have, you, have you tried that? Yeah. So that's useful because you can reset your diurnal rhythm. So typically jet lag is nasty <clears throat> because your brain kind of is out of sync. So it's sending signals to the rest of the body on what it's supposed to do. That doesn't fit with your activity. So everything goes a bit haywire. And it adapts after a while. Melatonin is kind of good because you can send a reset signal. Right now it's uh, just after midnight. The problem is, of course, that that doesn't help you necessarily sleep or anything. So sleeping pills, they uh, shut down the brain well enough so you actually get uh, unconscious at least, but it's not necessarily that you get good sleep because during sleep you're doing memory consolidation among a lot of other things. So that uh, is an interesting issue that during the day you want to learn things quickly. We need to uh, get a lot of information and then we want to store it permanently. But if you learn quickly into a memory, you can erase it quickly too. So ideally you want to rewrite it in a slower rate. You actually want to have a kind of right protection of parts of your brain. And that's probably what's going on during sleep. During deep sleep, the hippocampus can replay what you learned during the day, especially the stuff that turned out to be important, to the rest of the brain to store it more and uh, safely. And without sleep, of course, you're not going to do that very well. This is a problem with uh, students using cognitive enhancers. A lot of them do it to do all night. So they take a stimulant and then step, stay up all night uh, reading before the exam, which means that at least we stayed up, but we're not learning very much because we didn't consolidate it. So when we're finally sitting in the exam room, we won't remember very much. So you need to figure out what part of your mental task you want to enhance and how. Mm. Yeah. I had a problem with doing that, but I didn't use stimulants. I just used coffee. Yeah, Uh, Uh, but it's the same thing. Uh, Coffee is a decent stimulant. It's amazingly safe and uh, it has a lot of rather healthy effects, but it's not good enough. We we probably could develop much better cognitive enhancers if we had the right regulatory and ethical views.